roof off, said I need it Who the fuck said I need it, love? Who the fuck said I need it? Who the fuck said I need it, love? We the real duo. We the lone shark, you feel me? Yeah, Sometimes you gotta be you gotta be less heads for it to really work, you feel me? Yeah. That's how it be. Yeah. Keep your circle small, keep the money tall, you, you know, know what the fuck saying? going on. But yeah, boy, we about to drop this a little album, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we representing, bro. I'm gonna get this nigga in the studio. Five, nine, five, four, all that shit. We gonna get this boy in the studio. Five, six, one, all on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we gonna keep it a hundred with y'all boys. We, we coming out the broad and we gonna come hard, bro. We gonna, we gonna make sure shit, shit. We, we put the music, we put the music out first, man. That's all that matter. Yeah, boy, I'm not even gonna lie to you, boy. Both my parents is Haitian. Them boys born in, you gonna hop in the whip. That bit raining, <laughs> that bit born and raised in Haiti, you know what I'm saying? That what I'm saying. From Port-au-Prince. Shit's hard there. Niggas dying in Haiti every day, bro. I got family members I never seen before, fam. I can't even talk to him all, you feel me? still over there, you feel me? Struggling, trying to get a plate, you feel me? That shit really be going on out there, bro. Shit, but yeah, we out of here. Right now, I'm working on a project. Um, it's probably gonna come out in December. It's called Temporary Pain. I got a couple features on there, but y'all gonna see when y'all see, you feel me? Um, I got something out right now, it's called Zombies on Earth. That bit dropped last month. At the end of the month, that bit gas. I'm telling y'all, y'all boys go look that shit up. Zombies on Earth. You feel me, Big Z? Um, everything after that, that shit just gonna be leading up to my project. But I got some shit dropping this Friday. That shit called I'm Different. And I'm gonna drop a, vid a video for that shit, a visual. That shit different, fam. Y'all boys tap in. Yeah, I mean, people I would like to collaborate with and Broward probably would be, I mean, the biggest collab would be Kodak, um, 26 Coop, Trapland Pat. I fuck with all them boys' music. If I could, I'll feature with everybody in Broward, fam. I'll just make a track and, and do like knockout features and shit, make a whole mixtape with straight features. That bitch would be gas. So I had a couple different labels reach out to me. Um, they sent me, different little letters and telling me they see my music and stuff like that but um over here we stay independent we trying to get a hundred percent of our royalties 100 percent of the pie everything that we work hard for we want to get all that bread um every time we go to the table and we look at a contract i make sure i read over that shit my manager read over that shit but if that shit don't add up fam you can't sign that shit and I won't never sign until they, until I'm going to get what I'm worth. And I'm worth probably 10, 15 mil. You feel me? That's how, that's how I feel. That's how I look at it. All right. So the reason why I went to um, the school that I go to for recording arts is because I want to have a backup plan for what I'm doing. So if I don't make it in the industry with my music um, in the beginning, I'm going to be graduating from college for the same thing. So when I graduate college, I'm already gonna be rubbing elbows with the big artists and the big, you know, tours and everything that has to do with music. I'm gonna be in that industry. All I'm gonna do is just rub elbows with the right people and push that music out. And then one thing leads to another. I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll be out by then pushing out platinum. So in two years from now, I would picture myself doing like all these major shows especially next year since I'm getting myself together. I'm talking about Rolling Loud, Coachella, Lala Palooza, most of the um, big shows that come to Florida. And I, I, I wanna see myself on tour. I really wanna see myself on tour, going to different countries and performing and doing shit like that. And I wanna have at least two or three albums out by then. And I'm, I'm really hoping they go gold or platinum but you feel me, I got to put that work in for that to happen. So that's why I see myself in two to one or two years, just 
still grinding like I never made. I really looked up to when I was growing up. It might be a little bit surprising, but I'm going to say my mom. I looked up to her because she really put her time and her effort into taking care of me. And when my when my sisters were born, she took care of my sisters. So basically, she she really showed me how to do shit the right way. Because my stepfather, he, he grew up in a certain lifestyle. It was really fast. He didn't, you know, he got incarcerated early on in his, in his years. So he can't really do a lot of things that you will want to do. You don't have freedom. You can't get any job you want to get and shit like that. So he just, him too, he really put an imprint on me just to show me what I don't want to be at the same time. So basically my parents is the people that I look up to the most cause they the ones who really showed me what to do. You feel me? And let me know like there's certain things you can't roll around doing all the time cause that shit gonna catch up to you.